Tonight on 16 by 9, two 10-year-olds fighting for the right to be girls. Not just a girl, a lot of the time and a boy sometimes. I want to be a full-time girl. I don't want to be just someone wearing a costume. Battling the government, schools, and the church. I don't believe God makes mistakes. You cannot just change your sex. And then, all it takes is eight seconds. The end goal for me is to be the world finals champion. To make bull riding history. And... My name's Joel and this is my tiny house. Living large in tiny homes. I'm gonna take over the world one tiny house at a time. Here's Carolyn Jarvis. Good evening and welcome to 16 by 9. Human rights are something children normally don't have to worry about, but Tracy Wilson and Harriet Cunningham are special. Two 10-year-olds who were born as boys, but identify as girls. While their parents accept who they are, others don't. And that has ignited a debate with both school boards and the BC government. As Jill Kropp explains, it's a matter of who gets to decide whether someone is a boy or a girl. Okay, from the beginning, till there. Okay? You better run, run, run. Here we come. Revenue and him on the sun. Young Kabuzi. For a booze. If I have a bad day, I come here and then all of my sadness goes away. To look at her, you wouldn't think 10-year-old Tracy Wilson has anything to be sad about. But appearances can be deceiving. What are you doing, Trey? Get the ball, <laughs> get the ball. She was born a he, Trey Wilson, first born to Michelle and Garfield. Oh, hi. And while they thought they had a son, Michelle and Garfield soon realized Trey was unique. Do you know when little boys get together, they're just really aggressive and they just kind of run and beat each other up? Not, not so much. He would take my scarves and wrap them around his head to make flowing hair. Or he would put on uh, shirts as dresses. There's Trey playing with his toy train from his brother. I never really felt like one of the boys, rough and tough and pretending to be pirates and walking up princesses. You hungry too, Henry? Henry? Eat. Come on, you're hungry. I know you are. Ten-year-old Harriet Cunningham is most comfortable tending to her animals. This is Lillian, and she's good, but she needs a bit of a bath. Harriet was born Declan, but she has never wavered in who she is. I've always been a girl, even when I was a boy, when I was considered as a boy. In my dreams, I was never, I was never a boy. Tracy and Harriet are transgender. They were born boys, but knew early on they were meant to be girls. I just assumed that I was j just being myself and being unique and I didn't know that it would all come up to this. She's good. The Wilsons and the Cunninghams now want the rest of Canada to see their daughters as they do. But it hasn't always been easy. It wasn't until preschool when the toy options expanded, and he went, whoa, like, look, there's dolls and there's fairy dresses. And then his interest started to shift a little bit. When it was getting into the role playing and things like that with him wanting to dress up, I got nervous. As it progressed, Trey wanted to wear the dresses and uh, the fairy wings outside. Or we'd get a ring in the door and he'd run to the door 
in a dress and... And Garfield would panic. I would panic, yeah. I felt Garfield's discomfort with, with Trey. And I'm like, that's so not fair for Trey. And at the time, I just thought he was gay. I remember I was sitting on the couch and we were arguing again. And I'm like, honey, like, this is a deal breaker. If you can't love Trey for who he is, no matter what that is, this is, this is not gonna work. Most of it was my own personal fear, you know, um, of not understanding. And then uh, the fear of bullying, because I was bullied as a kid. This is my closet. In Harriet Cunningham's family, this blue dress has become something of a symbol. This is pretty much my all-time favorite dress. It was the night of Harriet's grade two Christmas concert, and her father, Colin, hadn't yet accepted that his son was really his daughter. About 10 minutes before we're ready to leave, she comes clopping down the stairs in uh, heels and Megan's uh, powder blue uh, bridesmaid's dress. I admit that I was thinking of my own embarrassment taking my child to his Christmas concert dressed as a, a girl. So I said, why are you wearing that? And you know, why now? She genuinely said, well, because it's a really beautiful dress. I especially like it because it goes swish, 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 swish whenever I walk. And I froze in place. Colin didn't take Harriet to the concert. I think that's not unusual for a lot of parents because they will always have that hope that, that our kids will turn out to be fit in the majority. Dr. Wallace Wong is a psychologist specializing in transgender children. He says, well, sex is known at birth, gender identity doesn't develop until three years old. Sometimes the two match, and sometimes they don't. Often mistaken for homosexual behavior, it's actually called gender identity disorder. We are all weird in some way, and that makes us unique. None of us in, can fit 100% as a muscular male or feminine female. Dr. Wong knows that it can be hard for parents to accept, but there are serious repercussions if they don't. There's a lot of emotional pain. There's no way out. So the only way to, to, to numb their feelings, often they do a lot of self-harm uh, behaviors. That emotional pain leads to 40% of transgender youth attempting suicide. Michelle and Garfield embraced their new daughter, letting her be the person she wanted. As soon as I let that go, it was... I never looked back. I really didn't. It was... And it changed my relationship with Tracy. It completely changed it. I felt like I was holding on to something that wasn't there. Trey became Tracy 18 months ago. Biologically, she is still a boy. But she goes by her girl name, is referred to with female pronouns, and she wears whatever clothing she wants. Tracy even had a re-birthday party, celebrating her transition. For all the parties and red carpets, life can be overwhelming for the young girl. I just need to think about all that's going on and try and find a way to calm myself down. Thinking about everything. Taunts and teasing happen all too often. They would say stuff like, I hate to say this word, and they would call me sometimes an alien or a non-person because they thought that I was different and I was so and I was too girly to be a boy I was too and I was too different to be a human but earning the acceptance of her friends and family was only the beginning of Tracy's difficult journey by the end of grade three Tracy decided to admit how she really felt I told her mom I'm really gonna trust you now, and I want to be a girl. Not a, not just a girl a lot of the time, and a boy sometimes. I want to be a full-time girl. At dance, she was Tracy. At home, she was Tracy, so she was a full-on girl. But when she'd go to school, she'd have to go back to being Trey and being called he. She was attending this semi-private Catholic school, 
Garfield grew up going to church, so he was looking forward to reintroducing faith into our lives. Yeah, I wanted to have the foundation of yeah. faith. Michelle and Garfield approach Sacred Heart, asking them to allow Trey to become Tracy. Oh, they wouldn't allow any of that. They wouldn't let her use her uh, new name. Uh, they wouldn't refer to her as she. Did you have any sense at Sacred Heart School that they would have a negative reaction? No. No. no Never. Ideas. We believe that sex and gender are one and the same. Doug Lawson is superintendent of the Catholic Independent Schools of Vancouver. God creates a person with a sexual identity at birth. I don't believe God makes mistakes. You cannot just change your sex. Lullaby, good night, under your blanket tight. Give me a kiss. Okay, hugs. How could God not love something that he created? It's like everybody else, how could you not love something that you created? It's just like having a child, how could you not love your own child? Just saying. Next, a parent's fight with the school to let this 10-year-old be herself. I expected a community that talks about love and acceptance to actually show love and acceptance. In grade two, I got invited to 10 birthday parties. In grade three, I got invited to 10. In grade four, I got invited to one. 10 year old transgender girl Harriet had to learn to be tough. I got called a he, she. I got called quite, quite mean names in it. I try not to let them show that I'm, that I'm sad, but it really hurts me. Harriet has a very strong personality. Kids would say, what are you? And she'd go, I'm a person. That's what I am. But it was a conversation with her grandmother, Kathy Dickens, that finally convinced Harriet. My grandma told me, do you want to get a beard like daddy? And I said, no. And you, like, at the thought of that, I, I put my foot down. No, I want to be uh, fully a girl. So that is what she did, wearing only girl clothing, legally changing her name, and presenting herself as entirely female. I have different ideas of gender. But that's not enough. Harriet also wants the government to accept her. When I have to show ID and I'm going through um, customs, I think it's called, yeah, customs, it makes me sad because people give me dirty looks and they kind of question me, who's this, blah, and it makes me feel like I shouldn't have to go through that. I'm, I'm a girl and I'm, I'm like everybody else. Grandmother and granddaughter have started a campaign to remove gender from birth certificates and passports. I will continue writing to government and advocating for change until we have things in place where she feels safe and protected wherever she goes. Why is it the people, those people's business to know what gender I am? It, I'm, I'm Harriet, look at me, I'm, I'm like this. There we, there we go, it's kind of that simple. They even filed a human rights complaint against the BC government, saying that Harriet should never have been labeled male at birth. We used to think that you could tell gender. You looked at, you looked at the baby when they were born, and uh, now we know, boy or girl, for the rest of your life. Those are profound ideas in our culture, but they're mistaken. Lawyer Barbara Findlay took on their case. She says gender markers are outdated. When I first got my birth certificate, it had on it as identifying features, my name, my date of birth, and my gender. That was it. If I'd been born 20 or 30 years before, it would also have had my race and my father's occupation and my class. But we've already figured out that those aren't relevant. I had to give up my friends. I had to give up almost everything. Everything. I barely even see my friends from Sacred Heart anymore. It's just... <sighs> friends Tracy doesn't get to see anymore because she wanted to use the girls' washroom to be called her new name and to wear the girls' uniform at the Catholic school she was attending. In short, 
She wanted to be treated as the girl she knew she was. They had no intention of letting her be her. They wouldn't let her use her new name. Uh, they wouldn't refer to her as she. The school resisted, asking the Wilsons for multiple assessments, confirming Tracy's condition. That wasn't OK, and Tracy's uncomfortable. Like, my child doesn't feel comfortable. It was hard for her. Michelle and Garfield pulled Tracy out of class. We just think it's just fear, and it sucks, and it's so wrong. And everyone says, well, what did you expect? I expected compassion. I expected a community that talks about love and acceptance to actually show love and acceptance. Like, I don't think that's so strange. The whole existence of a Catholic school is for the Catholic faith. The position of the Catholic Church is that you live your life in the sex that God gave you. Doug Lawson is the superintendent of the Catholic Independent Schools of Vancouver and says Tracy is the first open transgender child in one of their schools. This is an emerging issue. It's uh, certainly an issue that has come to the forefront over the last number of years. And it's a very complex issue. In order to be who you are, to be who God made you to be, you don't have to wear the girl's uniform. It's, it's, I think, as simple as that. Lawson says the board is working on a policy for transgender children, but that the research is conflicting. Some researchers will say, wait and see, support the child in his or her desires. Other people will say, no, don't do that. That's the worst thing you can do. Very, very different opinions. And so we had to research the medical evidence. Evidence with conflicting numbers on if a child will eventually change their mind and how to best handle adolescence. Surgery is not available to minors in Canada, but children can take hormones to suppress puberty starting at around 12. Tracy has questions about it, but it's not something that we want to focus on or worry about too much right now. We want her to be able to just live as she is and, and live as the 10-year-old that she is. and 10-year-olds need to go to school. The Wilsons also hired Barbara Findlay and filed a human rights complaint saying the school discriminated against their daughter. Then you have head-on a contest between the right to be free from discrimination on the one hand and the right to hold religious views on the other hand. Is religious freedom paramount to the right to education? and a sexual orientation. Absolutely. For a Catholic school, yes. This case will be the first time where that particular head-on contest in a school has happened. Who's walking on my <laughs> It's very humbling. We adults have a job. And our job is to listen really, really carefully to what children have to say. While the grown-ups are left to decide who they can be, Harriet already has it figured out. I don't want to just be referred to on the street as a girl. I don't want to be just someone wearing a costume. I want to be me. Tracy now attends this public school, where she is enrolled as Tracy. Sometimes I wish that I was just a normal girl so that I wouldn't have to go through all of this. But my mom always tells me that it's good to be transgender because being transgender makes you special. And we, no, not saying that nobody else is special. No, no, thank you. No, I'm not trying to start up a riot. Tracy's complaint against a Catholic school board will be heard this spring, while Harriet is still waiting for a response from the government. We'll be right back.